Oh my god, this is looking like a twist out. If you want to know how I got this coils and what I added to my hair, then keep watching. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you guys how I retwist my mini twist. So I did mention in my previous video that I'm going to be doing my retwisting at every two weeks. And um, this is exactly two weeks I installed this mini twist. I'm going to go right ahead to retwist it. I've already washed my hair, shampoo with my African black soap shampoo, deep condition, did my treatment and all that good stuff. So the only thing I've not done yet is moisturize my hair. So what I did actually was just to oil my scalp because I didn't want it to get dry. I knew I wasn't going to be able to retwist the same day I washed my hair. So I had to wait for the next day. So this is how my hair is looking right now. I just put it back on this bun. This is what my hair is looking like guys. So guys, I'm going to be doing a voiceover for most of these because I discovered that I had some external noise on the video. So I'm going to be talking um, for most of this. So do bear with me. These are the things I'm going to be using to moisturize my hair. I have my tea spray and I also have my leave-in conditioner. I have my oil. This is the style of the day. I'm going to show you guys later how I use this. So I'm going to talk about this later on. So I also have my hair butter. Of course, you guys know that I always do the LOC method. So let's get right into twisting my hair. So I'm going to take this down. And uh, wow, my hair actually feels moisturized. That's not that moisturized so you see i'm going to be careful about this so what i want to do i'm going to apply a little bit of my leave-in conditioner see just this much so my leave-in conditioner is about this consistency so i'm going to apply it to soften the air so i'll advise you to use something that has a lot of sleep because this is twist and it has been there for a while there's every tendency to have um some twists that are forming um locks already so make sure whatever you're using it could be a conditioner it could, anything just slippery anything slippery just to make it easy for you to take down your twists so that you don't experience breakage this is quite detangled. I go from the root, using my hands to divide, making sure that there's no knots, there's no tangles. As I walk my way down to the ends of my hair, removing every shedding. I'm going to make sure to separate, make sure that my parts are clear enough. Pick from the roots, apply my oil. On my hair so I have my chebe oil that I've been using going to now rub on my hair apply that work it in I go with my hair butter to seal this up Just go right ahead and twist this back up. So right here, I'm just making sure that I'm twisting very firmly from the roots and then twist loosely towards um, the ends of my hair because this is a loose twist, is not a tight twist. See? See how I twisted this? See how fresh it's looking? Or like this, you can see the difference between this and this. So what I'm going to do next is to lock these ends up. I discovered a new way to lock my ends so that it doesn't form not. So that is where a flat seed gel comes in. So I have my flat seed gel. And I discovered that if it's too thick, it's going to leave some residue on my hair. So mine is not that thick, but it's thick. <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead, I took just a little, like this much, and I'm going to put it from the ends of my hair. Not my entire hair, just the ends of my hair. 
so i posted a video and someone asked me what i did to make my coils pop <laughs> so this is the secret guys i did use flaxseed gel to you know lock the ends of my hair as you can see they are looking coily the flaxseed gel will help you to keep the ends of your hair in place so you don't have hair strands flying all over trying to form knots and tangles so it just keeps them in place so they are glued together even when it gets dry you're going to see the coils are going to just be in place so this is what i've been doing that's why the whole of my hair was just coils were just popping and <laughs> so that is what i did guys for those of you that were asking me that is what this i is did another twist i've applied my leave-in conditioner to soften it up so that i can lose this i'm going to take them out So you see these coils guys that is the effects of the flaxseed gel because i think while i was doing this i my hands you know when dipped into flaxseed gel it will still touch the other parts of your hair so i think i got these coils from there <laughs> oh my god this is looking like a twist out i actually have not done a twist out before like really, really twist out so i think i'm going to do that very soon maybe after my three months mini twist challenge so guys i'm just going to go ahead and lose, take this twist down i'm going to show you guys this one um then after that i'm going to do the rest of camera because guys talking and filming at the same time it took me a lot of time so i'm just going right ahead uh, you know apply my leave-in conditioner because it gives me some form of sleep so um after that then i detangle a bit then i go ahead and i apply my oil then my air butter so in that order that forms my loc method so you want to make sure to detangle properly remove all the shedded hairs and then i'm going to twist this section back up so um i pretty much took um the same amount of time that i used to install this twist to um retwist my hair so you don't have to retwist all at once you can do it bit by bit you might even want to start from the front of your hair so that by the time you stop maybe halfway then you can use the rest to cover back of your hair and then just go out like that so what i'm doing right here i'm not twisting my hair up to the ends so i just left about one inch and a half so that i can apply my flaxseed gel and i twirl it up you know to form that bond so by the time i'm taking this down it's going to be very very easy because if you twist to the ends of your hair completely you might have issues with um separating them because that part is very you know tiny so that is just pretty much what i did i found this to be the best remedy for me so they are going to stick like this like glue so i'm done with these two and i'm going to go ahead and do the rest um i'll be back to show you guys my entire results so, so after hours i think five to six hours of course with some breaks in between of course i had to do some stuff and all that my hair is completely done I'm done with retwisting everything you can see the difference my hair is looking good right now and fresh and new and um, shining and all that good stuff so thank you guys for watching I hope you did enjoy today's video please if you have not subscribed to my channel do subscribe to this channel turn on your post notification bell so that each time I post a video you'll be notified and like this video guys like this video so what i'm just doing i'm just trying to see what style i can create with this mini twist of course you know you could do any style with this mini twist and just go out there and look beautiful this is the amount of shedding i got and um, this is pretty much okay for a two weeks you know washing and detangling uh this is okay so i'm just going to put my hair back in some bone and if i need to style my hair while going out then i would look for something nice to style it into but for now i'm going to protect the ends of my hair by putting up putting it up in a bun this is pretty much a good style and my bun is getting big by the day so sometimes it's very much <laughs> comfortable when i want to sleep so that's why i love putting it in 
an updo instead of this one but for now this will do and i'm good to go so thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in my next one bye